What's up everyone and welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2025 Genesis G80. Let's go ahead and do it with a chart. The G80 will be available to you in five different trims. I hope you brought your wallet because the cheapest one is $57,000 and the most expensive is seventy-seven. dollars so there is $20,000 separating these five trims all at very high MSRPs but you gotta get a lot for the money. As far as performance, even these base three trims will have a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four, 300 horsepower, 311 pound fuel torque. That's plenty of power to get this thing out of its own way. But if you go for the top two trims, you're gonna get a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, 375 horsepower, 391 pound fuel torque. So definitely a difference there. Again, enough power to have fun uh, and really give this thing kind of that edge over a lot of other vehicles. Both are paired with an eight speed auto. All-wheel drive is standard. That's going to help you with your performance, especially when you're racing somebody on your way to Walmart. And as far as MPGs go, that 2.5 liter will do a little better, but still, that 3.5 isn't too bad for what it is, 16 city, 24 highway. Real quick guys, here are Ben's car reviews. There's no fluff and we keep it under 10 minutes. If that's something that's intriguing to you and like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe and I'll keep growing the channel. Let's keep going. The Genesis G80 is one of those vehicles that if you see it, you're watching it go all the way by. I see G70s pretty often, but the G80 is a rare sight. It's expensive, and that's probably the reason why. But there's a lot to love here for the money if you can get your hands on one. Genesis, as we all know, has formed their iconic light feature look with those two lines. This G80 pulls it off so well like the rest of the lineup. High beam assist is standard as well as LEDs all the way around. You're going to find 18 inch wheels on the 2.5T. The 2.5T Advanced will have 19 inch wheels. 3.5T Advanced will have 19 inch sport alloy wheels and the Sport Prestige trims will have 20 inch sport alloy wheels. So some diversity there in design and obviously size. All trims will have standard power folding ECM outside mirrors with Genesis logo puddle lamps, which is an awesome touch. You don't see that too often. The 2.5T will have a hands-free smart trunk with auto open. The rest will have a power hands-free smart trunk with auto open. The top three trims are going to have a sport appearance versus the other two. The 3.5s will have the electronically controlled suspension with road preview technology, which uses the G80's front camera to read the road surface ahead and automatically adjust the suspension to help minimize wheel impact. Definitely wonder how well that actually works, especially if you're going pretty fast, how quickly that can actually react, but definitely a nice touch. The 3.5 Sport Prestige will have the electronic limited slip diff that will distribute the power to the rear wheels to optimize traction and responsiveness, and it will also have rear wheel steering. The available launch control optimizes torque and acceleration and minimizes wheel slip to give you a fun jump from the intersection stoplight. And I love the coinciding dash display that has the gauge that looks like Darth Vader's lightsabers giving you your important information. The Sport Prestiges will have sport tuning and performance brakes. The G80 is a big vehicle. It will measure in at 196.7 inches long, 77.8 inches wide, and 57.7 inches tall. So this is definitely takes up some room for a sedan. The G80 is a 2024 IIHS top safety pick and has five stars with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. So there's some peace of mind for you as far as safety. As far as choosing a best bang for your buck, the choice is clear to me, first of all, the factor, in my opinion, that would draw optioning up is increased power, increased performance. And to do that in this lineup, it's an extra 12000 right off the bat. And yes, that increased power is awesome and fun, but I don't think it's worth that price hike when the base power is pretty good too. Also, exterior-wise, all trims look as eye-catching as the next, really. And I think the 2.5T Advanced is the best bang for your buck. It's nearly 5000 more than the base but as you'll see in the next section going over the interior, you gain a lot over the base 2.5 and you gain most of the features available anyway. There are extra luxury bells and whistles and performance of course if you want to spend the money, but if you want the best way to get into a G80, the most cost effective, 
I think that 2.5 advanced is the call. Let's get into that interior now. Another Genesis, another stunning interior. They don't stop at a good looking exterior, they blow it out of the water inside. I think this G80 is done with a lot of detail oriented thinking and delivers an overall just fantastic look. The ultra wide 27 inch OLED integrated multimedia screen looks absolutely massive staring you in the face. Genesis does not mess around these days when it comes to screen sizes and this is certainly no exception. It's encompassing your infotainment and your driver's info area. There's standard wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto capability. The 3.5 Sport Prestige will also have a standard heads-up display. All but the base 2.5 will have the Bang & Olufsen Premium Audio System. The 3.5 trims will have a wireless charger standard. All trims will have the Fingerprint Authentication System, which I've heard from a viewer that Genesis does very well. So don't be afraid of that. Uh, sounds like it works great. Three zone climate control is standard on all but the 2.5T. All but the base 2.5T will have a panoramic sunroof. In the 2.5T you'll find piano black gloss trim. 2.5 advanced, 2.5 sport prestige will have matte finished wood trim. That same 2.5 sport prestige as well as the 3.5 advanced will have sport aluminum trim. And the 3.5 sport prestige will have carbon fiber trim. All trims will have a leather wrap, wrapped upper instrument panel. The 3.5 Sport Prestige will have a micro fiber suede headliner and pillars. It will also have a heated center console armrest, which is a cool touch. The revamped center console features a temper, tempered glass shift by wire gear selector with a design inspired by fine jewelry, says Genesis. The 2.5T will have leatherette seating surfaces. 2.5 Sport Prestige and 3.5 Advanced will have leather trimmed and that 3.5 Sport Prestige will have Napa leather. There are standard power front seats with four-way power lumbar. The top three trims have driver's power cushion extension, bolster, and ergo motion. The 2.5T will have heated front and rear seats. The rest will add in ventilated to the front as well. There's going to be some dri standard driver's assist, safety and technology features, and as always more, the higher you buy. Overall, I think Genesis did pretty well optioning these out. I think they could have been more stingy despite the high prices, but I think it's a solid lineup. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a mid-sized sedan, heading into 2025, but not just any sedan, a luxury mid-sized sedan, and you've got some money you're ready to spend, this G80 might be all you want delivers a fun performance as well as a lot of great features plus a look that's just fantastic and the best part is in my opinion you don't see many of them at all I think that alone separates a vehicle for me I only want a vehicle really that you don't see that often um, going up against this though are some heavy hitters Mercedes Audi BMW they all have vehicles that are going up against this definitely check those out uh, BMW Audi obviously sell a ton not seeing Mercedes Benz as much these days I don't believe but certainly worthy of checking that out at least to compare prices but if this genesis though is the way you want to go i think you're making a great call it's a ton of fun i really wish i could have one i've test drove a g70 before with the twin turbo v6 and it was a blast very responsive uh, and a lot of fun so i think this g80 is all that it looks to be um, i guess there's kind of a, a high msrp no matter how you go but i think the money's worth it in the end because you're getting a phenomenal product Hopefully this video leaving things out in a clear, clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Benz car review. Please subscribe if not already. If you have an idea for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you in the next Benz car review.